Welcome to Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium, your library's virtual branch, where you can download thousands of ebook and audiobook titles for free with your Maryland Library Card. All titles check out for up to 21 days, and there is a limit of four checkouts and four holds per customer. In this tutorial, you will learn how to place and retrieve a hold on an ebook or audiobook in Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium. When you place a hold on an item that is currently checked out to someone else, you are put on a waiting list for that item until it becomes available for you to check out. To place a hold, you will need a few ingredients. An active library card, a computer or laptop with an internet connection, an active email address that you check often, and an ebook or audiobook that you want to check out on the consortium website. Let's begin. The first thing you should do when you arrive at the consortium website is log in. This will allow you to see the Advantage titles available in your region as well as the titles that are available from the statewide collection. Click Log In on the banner at the top of the screen. On the Sign In screen, shown here, select your library by clicking on the drop-down list. In this case, Allegheny County Library System has been selected. Next, type in your 14-digit library card number with no spaces between the numbers. Finally, type in your PIN if prompted and then click Sign In. One of the easiest ways to find ebooks and audiobooks is to scroll down to Browse Collections in the menu on the left side of the page. From here, you can click to view all ebooks, view only new ebooks, view new audiobooks, or view audiobooks that are in either MP3 or WMA format. A better way to search for titles is to use Advanced Search. Click Advanced Search on the banner at the top of the screen. The Advanced Search page, shown here, enables users to narrow search results to a particular ebook or audiobook file format. Depending on the type of device you have, you may need to look for files in a specific format. Check your device's user guide or click Help in the banner and visit the Device Resource Center to determine which file formats your device will support. On the Advanced Search screen, you can also narrow the search results to a specific subject, like Westerns or Mysteries, or you can pick broader categories, like Fiction or Nonfiction. The checkbox for only show titles with copies available can be selected so that the results list will include only the items that are able to be checked out immediately. However, you need to leave this box unchecked if you wish to see all results so that you can place a hold on items that are currently checked out. When you've made your choices, click the search button. In the results list, you will see titles that are available to you from Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium. An orange seal with the letter A and a check mark indicates that an item is an Advantage title. Advantage titles include copies that have been purchased by a library in your area to supplement the titles or copies in the statewide collection. In this example, Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium has 25 copies of the ebook Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Some of these copies are available to all public library card holders in the state of Maryland but since this is an Advantage title, at least one of the 25 copies is available for use only by library card holders in the area chosen at sign-in. If the item has a red Add to Cart button below the title, that item is available for checkout immediately. In this example, The Paris Wife by Paula McLean is available for immediate checkout. If the item has a red Place a Hold button below it, that item is checked out to other users. To see how many people are already on the waiting list for this item, look next to the Available Copies number at the right of the book's cover. Click the Place a Hold button next to the file format you would like to check out to begin the hold process. We will select the Adobe EPUB eBook version. On the My Hold screen, click inside the first box and enter your email address. Then click inside the second box and enter the email address again. The information you enter in the two boxes must match exactly. This allows the consortium site to ensure that there are no typing errors in either box. Remember to use an email address for an account that you check often, preferably at least once per day. Next, click Place a Hold. Now you have successfully placed a hold on the chosen item. If you would like to see where you are in the waiting list for this item, you can click My Account in the banner and then select My Holds from the account screen. Here you can see where you are on the waiting list. In this case, number 215 out of 215 people waiting. However, this number is the total number of people on the statewide waiting list. Since this is an Advantage title, 
you will only have to wait behind the others in your area for your library's copy of the item. As indicated in the note with the asterisk, your wait could be considerably shorter than the number of people on the statewide list seems to indicate. When the item becomes available to you, an email like the one shown here will be sent from overdrive at carr.org to the address you entered when you placed the hold. From the time the email is sent, you will have three days to log in to the consortium website to check the item out. At the end of the three days, it will go to the next person on the waiting list. You can click on the blue link in the message to go directly to Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium. On the consortium website, log in as you did before and click My Holds on the My Account screen. This will take you to the My Holds screen where you will see the item you are waiting for. To begin the checkout process, click Add to Cart next to the file format that will work on your device. A message will appear to confirm the file format you have chosen. If you accidentally selected the wrong format for your device, click Cancel and select another file format. Otherwise, click Confirm. This will take you to the My Cart screen. If you want to look for other items at this time, you can by clicking Continue Browsing. But be aware that you have not completed checking this item out. Items placed in your cart will remain there for only 30 minutes. If you search for longer than that, the item that was held for you will be removed from your cart and placed on hold for the next person on the waiting list. To avoid this, it is recommended that you complete checkout on this item before searching for additional items. To do this, click Proceed to Checkout. On the checkout screen, shown here, click on the drop-down list in the top left of your screen to shorten your loan to 7 days or extend it to 21 days. Otherwise, items check out for 14 days. Next, click Confirm Checkout. The item is now checked out to you. To search for more items, scroll down to Browse Collections in the menu on the left or click Advanced Search in the banner at the top of the screen. Otherwise, click Download to begin the process for getting the item to your device, which is demonstrated in other tutorials. Now you have successfully searched for an item, placed and retrieved a hold, and completed checkout. This concludes the tutorial. Please visit Maryland's Digital eLibrary Consortium regularly, as new titles are always being added.